Hi, my name is John Sheehan, and today we're going to look at the integration of SolidWorks and MathCAD. For this, we're going to use SolidWorks 2008 and MathCAD 14. We're running on in on a, uh, a Dell notebook, actually, that's running uh, Windows XP 32-bit version. So to start off, we launched uh, SolidWorks, and we'll open up a, a standard part. And what we're going to do is um, add the the integration through what's known as an add-in. So MathCAD to SolidWorks integration is actually a VB.NET DLL that is written using and implementing the add-in class of SolidWorks. It uses the SolidWorks API as well as the MathCAD uh, API in the MathCAD XML schema. So with the add-in added through the tools add-ins, we added the MathCAD 14. Now you can see we now have a new toolbar called MathCAD 14, which gives us one simple option, and that is to work with MathCAD. All right, now we have this CAD part loaded. Um, may not be so obvious, but MathCAD is not running at this point. What we're going to do is we're going to load a MathCAD uh, worksheet. We're going to launch MathCAD, but we're going to load it with a worksheet that makes sense to do analysis on this worksheet. I mean, on this uh, 3D geometry, pardon me. So, as you can tell, you know, we've, we've, we've set this up. We have a MathCAD worksheet that's going to do analysis to tell us, uh, it's going to do some stress and some pressure computations to tell us wh if this design meets our criteria. You know, is it within our buckling standard? So, we're going to go down to phase three. Okay, so this is actually, phase, we call this phase three. This is actually the third version of the integration with SolidWorks. We've integrated Sol SolidWorks since uh, 2003. Um, that was a you know, script-only integration, very simple integration. Phase two integration is basically this top part that I'm about to show you, and then phase three is the new stuff, and that's down the very bottom. But first, let's just show that we've launched MathCAD now. We've launched MathCAD, and we're running this MathCAD worksheet, and this MathCAD worksheet has a bunch of red variables in it. These red variables have not been defined. We're going to define them. We're going to pull them from the geometry of the SolidWorks model. So we're going to say that um, D5 sketch 1 is going to map over to uh, W. We're going to say that uh, D1 at sketch 1 is going to become D sub R, uh, D sub B, pardon me, and then uh, uh, D2 at sketch 1 will become D sub R. And then finally, we're going to say uh, D1 to sketch 4. We're going to bring over to, uh, to Z or to Z. Um, now, when I say I'm going to say submit, if you're going to watch these, are going to fill in, and these calculations are going to trigger, which will compute then, you know, the force on the joint. Oh, pardon me, don't mean to move the text. The force on the joint, scroll through this worksheet. We're going to then calculate the pressure on the joint, then we'll calculate the allowable pressure before buckling. Then we're going to do a quick if then, uh, uh, else type analysis, you know, is this or is this not within the limit of our buckling, um, you know, for our design practices. Then the second piece of this specific worksheet, we're going to compute new values, D sub B, D sub R, and D and Z, and we'll send those back. But first of all, let's get, uh, let's get to it. Let's get back up to the top of the worksheet, where we see that uh, our values are undefined, W, D sub B, D sub R, and, and Z. We'll send those over, and here they come now, in value and argument. Uh, pardon me, I need to choose Z. How did I miss Z one more time? Sorry about that. There we go. So now we have W, uh, D sub B, D sub R, and Z. Sorry um, about that. Now, what we've done here is we've, we've done our analysis. Now, these are recyclable. We can use these um, user co UI controls over and over and over again. These values are coming, we're pulling out of the configuration manager within, um, within SolidWorks. If you go to SolidWorks, configuration manager they actually use an excel table to demonstrate their values so if we open up a design table and we're looking at the description here if we open up this design table you'll see these handful of values these are uh, six values you know of uh, d sub one and sketch four d sub one and sketch two d sub five and sketch five right um, these are the ones that we're working with. Now, these are the numbers. Now, we're going to change. We're going to send these back. We're going to return these values um, uh, from MathCAD now back to SolidWorks. So if we bring back our panel, now what we're going to say is actually if we look at MathCAD, we've come up with some maybe optimized, maximized, or minimized values that we might want to try to use. In this case, we're going to look at uh, uh, you know 4.463 for new D sub R, etc. So let's go back to that panel. 
So this is simply a bi-directional nu d sub b, nu d sub r, nu z, and we're going to send that over to, uh, we're going to send it to 1, 2, and 1 at 4, just for x. Okay, so now again, this is dem this is demo material, folks, so to be aware of that. So let's just do submit, and we'll see if those values are now uh, sent back over and clearly have a dramatic effect on that. If we take a look at the uh, design table again, right? So this is actually what we call the phase two integration. We built this a year or so ago, and now you can see uh, here's a 4.4, um, uh, you know, 4.463, you know, that we're bringing back over from our uh, from new D sub R, etc. So again, this is what we considered our phase uh, two integration. We wanted to make sure that everybody was comfortable with that. Let's not rebuild that. Any bad geometries, it will tell you if it creates anything, you know, out out of our boundaries, etc. It will tell you all of that. What we're going to do right now is close, not SolidWorks, but we're going to close this part, okay, and we're going to move on to show phase three of the integration. And for this one, we're simply just going to open up a blank worksheet. Oh, pardon me. Easiest thing to do is say file new, and let's just take a uh, 3D representation of a single design document. And what we're going to do now, again, with that same panel, we are going to say, let's go to the MathCAD. Let's say, uh, let's clean up MathCAD first of all. Let's just get rid of all that. Let's say unload MathCAD. And we'll get rid of that. And we'll say, let's load a new MathCAD worksheet. And this time, again, this one is uh, showing phase three of the integration. Phase three is where we can actually take curves and surfaces from MathCAD and send them back to SolidWorks. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is I'm going to go again back down to my SolidWorks uh, directory. Where are we? SolidWorks. Here we go. Again, down to phase three. In this case, I'm going to load a MathCAD worksheet called Matrix. And as it sounds, it, it generates some matrix data for us. Um, uh, so now what it does again, it launches MathCAD. And here's a MathCAD worksheet that is generating a matrix. You're looking at this uh, 3D uh, graph that we're generating here, and that's being generated by that function f of x, y, pardon me, f of x, y is equal to x squared plus y squared. Now what we're going to do is uh, rearrange it a little bit to be in triplet form, x, y, z, x, y, z, x, y, z form, going across as well as going down, okay? So we have triplets going down, row Columns 1, 2, and 3 represent X, Y, and Z for the first um, um, uh, line on the vertical side, and the first row represents it on the, uh, on the horizontal side. Right, So we just have this function called build array that will actually manipulate that for you. Also, we're going to bring over just some curves. So now MathCAD is very strong at doing curve data analysis, curve fitting, all that kind of fun stuff, right? We have, re, you know, regressions and smoothing and all that type of um, analysis for MathCAD. What we're going to do here, we're just going to take a raw data set that was brought in, and we would typically now would do some smoothing, or so, you know, do some uh, uh, curve fitting to that, et cetera. But I'm simply just going to take that raw data and put it into what we call sign data, a, a, a value called sign data. So when we look at... Um, We've got spline data and sine data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say curve. Now you can see in the curves with the new worksheet loaded that it's actually loaded up sine data for me. And I can just say go ahead and send that over. And if we take a look in our window back here, sure enough, there's our, uh, there's our sine data. Let's go back and send over our uh, spline data, which was the uh, 3D matrix. Let's send that over. And you'll see that will actually get generated, sure enough, behind us as well. You can see it being created. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use um, some of the viewing mo modifications. So I'm going to rotate this just a little bit. Let's get a different angle on this. Let's get it kind of right about there. And then what I'm going to do is also under Modify View, I'm going to say, let's just do a zoom to, zoom to area and zoom right in there. And here now you can see our... 3D surface and the uh, curve, the uh, uh, sine curve that has been sent over from MathCAD. So, bidirectional communication of scalar values for the generation of, uh, you know, for, for the manipulation of geometries or as inputs to calculations. And then also using direct calculations um, or built in MathCAD functions for, again, for curve smoothing, uh, curve fitting, etc., to generate. 
um, uh, content, you know, new geometries within SolidWorks. Right, so that is the phase three integration that is now available on our website at ptc.com for download. And uh, I hope this was, uh, I hope this movie uh, was worth your time. Thank you.